Greetings, I'm Demonac. Now let's slay the Spire. Alright, so I've almost got my spinning top deck functional. I think the path I've chosen is to go here. Uh, I'm getting one less elite, but I'm getting the shop a little bit... I'm getting one more camp, and I'm getting the shop a little bit later than if I go this way. So, just this last shop, I want to delay it as much as possible so I have the most possible money to use it. <coughs> cough. I'm recording now, so obviously I have to cough. Okay, we're going to rupture anyway, so if we lose any health from our own cards, we will gain strength. What are these guys attacking? We're going to, um, Warcry? Probably. Might as well. I'm going to put one of these back on top, but I'm, not, I'm going to offering anyway. I actually should have done that after the offering. I'm a dumbass. Because putting one back on top... The... No, I, I guess it doesn't make much difference. The Warcry is still kind of lame. This is pretty good, because this blocks most of the damage that's coming in. doesn't matter. What, why am I thinking? I'm just going to offering anyway. So I gain one strength for my thing. And now... I'm going to flex, obviously. Uh, if I double tap Whirlwind, they will all die. So, that sounds like a plan. Hi, guys! Good fight. This is why we chose the double tap. Because it's amazing. Okay, I could get another upgraded True Grit. I'm not super happy with it. As my deck gets more trimmed, it becomes really painful. Body Slam costs zero. Like, a, the Wild Strike is a no-go, because that's a wound. Body Slam costs zero. Now, I don't have that much that's gaining me block, but this is usually... It's often going to deal some damage, and it costs zero. So I'm going to take it. I think that's totally fine. I gotta remember to use potions. Oh no, I don't because I have Sozu. I cannot use potions. Okay, delete use potions from my notes. My notes are not very useful this time. Sometimes they make a big difference, and like you gotta remember what kind of options you have. But these are pretty default ones. Like I go for question marks anyway, so that doesn't make a difference. I gotta remember powers upgraded. That's what I'm supposed to note. They did. I mean, I get. Extra extra card potentially if I shop if I've repressed, I mean, it's usually gonna be a skip. Peace pipe is an option that shows up, so obviously like, it's hard to miss those things. Okay, anyway, we'll just keep going. Oh, it's the three stooges. Gonna rupture again, that's a pretty good start. Uh let's offering and see what cards we have. Oh uh yeah, we're gonna do that anyway, because I'll still have whatever cards they are before I can clash. So, I could double tap Whirlwind again, and kill everything again. So, die, everyone. Do I need to double tap? The Whirlwind is currently doing 10 damage. Double tap cost 1, so it would be 50. That will kill them all. I will take a bunch of damage from him. So, it would be nice if I could get some armor first, and I can't. Hmm. Can I do more damage? Like, clashing him, does. it's not going to kill him any faster, though. I don't have anything that's going to gain me now. Uh, this this won't trigger his thing, right? So this is going to save me three hit points. And I'm full up. Oh, I can't use potions because of Sozu. This is what I get for finally trying to learn to use potions all the time. Okay, whatever. Uh, I'm going to take damage from the, the exploding guy and the other guy, and it sucks, but we're just going to do it. Boom. Gold. Potions are useless. Add upgraded anger. That seems like it'll make my deck work better. As much as I like flame barrier, I don't want to remove mine. I don't definitely don't want more of them in the current configuration. Okay, our deck is now angrier. This way, this guy is he starting with attack? No, he never starts with attack. Eh? Okay. Um, flex. Uh, bloodletting hurts kind of for no reason, but it lets me use the clash. So, yeah. And now, we draw a card. That's going to draw me a card, because it draws cards. This is going to do more damage to me and hurt, but draw cards. Uh, Jax, ow. Anger him. <coughs> Excuse me. But really, I'm angering myself. Then we're going to headbutt, get our anger back. Oh, look, anger. Adding more anger. Uh, flame Barrier, sure, I've got enough energy for it right now, even though he's not attacking. We're just going to do that. Whirlwind, uh, I wish I had spent my energy on something else, but it's still damage. 
and we and now we run out. Okay, I keep looking at my potions, which are useless. Okay, he's dealing 25 now. That's not insignificant. Finally, my Rupture, after I've already taken a buttload of self-damage. We're going to shrug it off. Let's see what we get. Uh, we're going to Warcry before Iron Wave. Uh, let's put the Reckless Charge back on top. I don't want that. Unless I was going to kill him this turn, which I don't think I am. We only have six armor, so we're not going to double tap that. We're going to double tap the Iron Wave and get more block, and then the Body Slam will do some damage, but we don't want to double tap the... I'd rather have the armor, the double armor, than the little bit more damage. Not bad. Deal damage equal like current block, and anger, and... Oh, that's not, oh right, I draw that again. Ugh. I really don't want to take 50% more damage from this big attack. Next card is an act. Oh, I have enough energy. I'd still be able to do it, but no, I'm not going to do that and take that extra damage. I gotta get rid of that card. Ah, okay, this is much more manageable. So let's uh, shrug it off. Oh, I can clash now, so we'll clash now. Uh, pommel strike. Uh, double tap. Why not? Anger is not going to do that much, so just double tap the strike. I've already got a lot of angers in there. I don't necessarily want to dilute my deck completely. We're going to anger. Whirlwind for zero, which still gets me another card. Bloodletting gives me energy. Pack up. Which lets me headbutt. Which lets me put back on top the clash. I think I've got enough angers in there. Uh, I could use another... I don't have any zero cost defense cards, so I shouldn't have thought that, because now I got it, and it's going to hurt. Ow. Taking a lot of damage here. Now I've got defense, and he's not attacking, so. We're going to True Grit. Actually, I can I can get rid of Anger with that. Or I can get rid of the Strike, because I've got a ton of Angers in here now. Um, i got to play this to get it out of my hand. So I'm going to get rid of the strike, because I should be able to get better than that. And then anger, anger, anger. Sword of Rang. Flame Barrier, kind of expensive. Now I've got no energy. Uh, Reckless Charge is actually a good time for it for once. Body Slam for the 15. Nice. Flex. Reshuffle. Clash. Anger. And Combo. Okay, Intimidate costs zero, weakens enemies, which would mean they'd do less damage to me, which would be nice, because I have very little defense now. Uh, Twin Strike is okay. Let's take the Intimidate, because that doesn't actually slow down my deck, necessarily. As long as I have the, as long as I have the spinning top going, it's fine. Did take a buttload of damage. Duplicate a card in your deck. Hello. Man, what do I want to duplicate? Not Flame Barrier, that's for sure. No... Roland is pretty good. It's probably not that. Anger. Now that I have two upgraded angers, I'm pretty happy with them. I don't really need to upgrade the rupture. Not the war cry. It's lame. Body slam. The double tap is really good, but it costs energy, so I don't think so. Man, what do I want to duplicate? Do I just want to get more anger? I get angry pretty fast. I think I'm going to duplicate the Whirlwind, because, again, I can play the Whirlwind for zero, so there's no real drawback there. And it is an upgraded Whirlwind. That actually doesn't help my deck as much as it could have, but it shouldn't hurt. Was this a was this a scheduled shop? Or this, or was, no, yeah, this was a scheduled. This was as late as I could encounter the shop. Okay. Turn. So, I can eliminate a card, which is okay. You could make an argument for removing the flame barrier, but I've got so little defense now, I'd rather not. Uh, flex, not so bad when your deck is, like, infinitely cycling. I don't need the anger. Oh, gain four block for zero. Previously, this would be a shitty card, but, okay, wait a second. I get plus one dex. Eh, I don't have that many defense cards. Cards which exhaust when played will instead discard half the time. Um... Here's which exhaust when played. Uh, that's like the Jax, the Offering, the Warcry, 
in the Intimidate. You know what? In my deck, I don't actually think that's that impressive. Removing a card is usually pretty good. Good Instincts, though, I think is actually maybe more what my deck needs than anything else. The free defense that I can just keep cycling. So I'm going to take that. I won't, be able to, I won't be able to remove a card after I take that. Should I get rid of the Flame Barrier? Man, this is a tough choice. Uh, I could remove enough cards from this deck to get it down to really, like, all zeros. Like, it could literally go infinite. I don't think we're going to get there. I can't use potions anyway. Upgrade all of your cards for the rest of combat. It costs two or one if it's upgraded. Um, a lot of my cards are upgrading, uh, upgraded. I don't think that's going to do enough to justify slowing down my deck. But the good instincts upgrades to seven. Whoa. That would actually be really good for my deck. I think I'm going to buy this. Right? The other thing was exhausts, plus one decks. I could buy this and then not buy the plus one decks because I'm still short like a two gold or something. Inflame would be kind of good, but it slow down my deck. In my deck, I might be better off with the flex than the inflame. Should I get another flex? It's not bad. There, aren't, I'm, there are no more shops unless I get one from a question mark. And I won't be able to do anything with it anyway. So let's take another flex. And then I'm done. Now I can remove a card here or upgrade a card. I think upgrading is more important for something. I feel like it, something I'm forgetting. I mean, upgrading the flex makes it literally twice as good. Before upgrading the offering, it would be five cards, which is crazy. Oh, I wanted to upgrade the bloodletting, so it's a, it'll still hurt. Upgrading double tap also super strong. Yeah, no, they, they a lot of these things would be much more awesome if upgraded. But bloodletting is the one that will help me combo more. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna upgrade that. Uh, hit points wouldn't be bad, but I'm not that desperate yet. So let's bloodlet harder. Yeah, that just that makes it more of a combo, even though I'm hurting myself all the time. And it's lose three hit points, so it's not blocked by defense either. Wish I had life gain and stuff. Oh, whatever. It's the three stooges plus one. Uh, let's shrug it off first off. Just some damage incoming there. We got both whirlwinds. Not as useful. Um, I'm not going to kill them unless I draw the double tap. And I've got a lot of cards between me and double tap. So I think I'm going to Iron Wave, because then I won't take as much damage there. Iron Wave the Spiker, because I've got the armor for it right now. And then just Whirlwind them all fairly normally. Ow. More explosives, more thorns. That's not great. Dazed, those are really bad. I don't have enough tools to get rid of those, I don't think. Uh, okay, I've got all the offerings and stuff like that. Do I want to take all that damage right now? I don't want to take so much damage to kill these guys. I really would rather not. Uh, yeah. I think my deck is too, like, life loss heavy. Okay, so I could flex. I really just don't want Jax. That's the problem. I think I'm going to Flame Barrier. The Jax, like, it's still hurting me is the problem. I'm not healing in, like, I'm healing 10 per fight, but I'm not going to come out ahead after the explosion and all that crap. Uh, he's he's going to hit me for 5 for every time I hit. Uh, the life loss is inconceivable. This would be doing, if I, if I Jax, I've got, this would be, yeah. I don't have any card drawing to go along with this, so that's definitely not helping right now. Those guys are hurting me. If I if I jax, then I can anger this guy and that'll kill him. And then it still won't kill him. And they're gonna add even more days and stuff. On the other hand, I could anger twice it's right now it's eighteen, it would be like four more, so twenty two, which would also not kill him. God damn it. And with the dazed in my hand I can't get rid of that stuff. That's why the true grit would be helpful. Chet, 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 chet. That takes so much damage. I cannot get them dead. Uh, 
Yes, we're going to do this. This is permanent for the whole fight. But the bloodletting right now is not going to help me because I can't spin. Got to get rid of this guy. And hopefully kill him next turn. I'm flexing right now. Next turn, my cards are going to do less damage. But I got to work on... Ow. It's a, however I do it, I'm going to take the damage. I don't know. Not good. Oh, there's good instincts. We're gonna war cry. Charge to put back on top. I guess we're gonna put dazed back on top. Which is pretty crap, because if it stays in my hand it goes away. But I'm gonna true grit away this daze. That one is exhausted. Then I've got lots of energy. I could headbutt something good back on top. Clash would kill this guy. That would take 12. He, I'd be taking no more damage this turn, though. So then, if I headbutt, this kills him, so he'd stop giving me daze, because, like, screw him. And maybe get the flame barrier. That crud? That's, that's not helpful right now, though, because I I, when I use... Whatever I put on top, I'm going to draw it right away. Just be doing that. So let's maybe get the Iron Wave, even though it's not very combo-y. Because it does let me hit him and not really take damage. And then I get my dazed and then I'm done. Okay. More thorns. Hooray. Rupture shouldn't do anything. Uh, I can weaken him. Hooray. Double tap, and hopefully this kills... Uh, he's weak, right? Ow. That was probably the wrong way to do it. Whatever. That was a bad fight for me, though. Hemokinesis, which would sort of trigger off that rupture thing, but I don't really want to go that way. I'm already taking too much damage. I think I need to actually take the true grit. It is upgraded, so it's still a choice. Might be making my deck worse. I don't know. Take an elite chest, and then I get... Rest over there, which is good. A bunch of question marks. I can't do much better than that. So let's see if I can take another leap without getting crushed. I'm going to get crushed. Oh, this is not going to be good. Okay, we're going to Jax, because it's the start of the fight and I've got to. But I don't know how I'm going to come out of this ahead. Good instincts. Headbutt. Which put back the good instincts, right? Yeah. And we're going to Whirlwind for a bunch of damage. Then we're going to whirlwind for no damage. Then we're going to good instincts. I wish it was upgraded, so it was doing seven. And now I have no energy, so that's it. Already taking damage. Too many rest stop artifacts. Um, I got the rupture now. Now I've got to shrug it off when he's not attacking me. Okay, let's uh, well, let's do this and gain the strength. Body slam. Okay, so I could try and build up for a body slam turn. Do that. Uh, I'm going to use that unless I am actually cycling my hand, but I could be cycling my hand. So the double tap, if I do this, I can double tap clash. It's a waste of a thing, but whatever. Double tap the clash. I'm going to strike him, anger him. I guess we'll body slam for not that much. Strike for not that much. True grit. Ugh. Flex. Anger. Oh, bloodletting. Okay, it hurts, but it means I can keep going if I get some stuff. This is a good turn for that piece of crap. War cry. Um, this is not going to work right. No matter what I do, it's not going to work right at all. Let, let's just put this back on top. Oh, and then, no, I'm going to put this back on top. Because then I'm going to play this, and then I'll draw that, and then it'll be gone. Yeah. That thing's not helping me. Three burns. That's terrible. I need to get the True Grits at exactly the right time to get rid of those. And he's hitting for 40. This is an Elite, not a boss. Okay. Awesome. Um, Flex? 
Iron Wave. Uh, do an early body slam is, is definitively not killing him. And then the Whirlwind's going to eat all my energy. So I'm going to get defensive cards and not be able to play them. I'm actually just going to die. Do a burn, no less. Wow, was that a bad fight for me to encounter? Obviously, I needed to heal at the last camp, but, like, I was not anticipating quite that rough. Again, I can't use potions, so dead. Pretty sure I've lost to him before. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Well, I tried. It was going sort of well, could not make it to the end of the third act. Boo. So such a cool game. I wonder how it would have been. I wish if I'd gotten something other than a spinning top, I could have ended up with a pretty cool wound-based deck, which is a combo I've never done before. So it, things can go so many different ways. If you get the spoon early on, where half of your like exhausts don't exhaust, that you the different things that you might end up doing. I don't know. We'll just see what a which possibilities I try next time. Please click the legendary like button. And check out Tales from My D&D Campaign on YouTube.com slash Demonac.